Roberto Sinchenko is done. What a big signing is that for us? It's a, it's a good sign, very good sign. You know, he's a good player and um, come for a, a big club. And I uh, hope that uh, he has uh, he do a good, great job. Good luck to him. And um, you know, as a hard work guy, good quality, I'm sure he's going to, to help a lot of the club. Mikel Arteta said on Wednesday he can play as a 10 in central midfield, then he converted him to City to a left back. That means Arsenal have good options as the season goes on. Uh, when you have a player who can play on a train roles, those always help the manager, you know, I think for Mikel. It's a good um, you know, uh, situation for him to have a player who can play on a different position. Because at then some point you can change the tactics and uh, to work in a bit of what the way they want. You've been part of the squad this week. How sharp and focused are you look ahead of the new season? Well, they're okay, you know, very concentrated, working hard. Miguel pushed them, you know. <laughs> Even though if somebody, uh, you know, think of not pushing Miguel is that with uh, his staff and to make sure they are working hard. But I think the guys get okay, very well committed and uh, everything very well organized and they are sharp, you know, preparing well for the season. Finally, do you think Mikel has enough in his squad to mount a top four challenge or do you think he might need one or two? That's difficult to say, you know. Um, I haven't spoken to him now. About it, but uh, I'm sure he has done it in the best way he, he can. Um, you know, this transfer window to make the, the squad strong. He brought you know, some good signings, and um, let's see, let's see until the last day what can what can happen. And Chelsea have had a quite a quiet transfer window, but bringing in Kulabali and Sterling, how impressed have you been? With that? Uh, two brilliant signings, I think. I think they're going to be uh, very important for the team. Um, it's two players that will have probably a, a big impact uh, in the club and uh, I'm sure that the coach uh, uh, knows them very well and will know how to utilise them and uh, I think they'll, they'll bring a lot of quality. You've played Arsenal and managed against Arsenal a fair few times in your career. What do you expect from tomorrow's opponents? Well, they made a couple of good signings too, and you know, it's I know it's going to be a pre a pre season friendly, but you know, when you play against um, an opponent, an English opponent, and uh, you know that that sort of uh, friendliness goes out of out of the window. So I'm sure it's going to be a good game. Um, what do you expect from Chelsea this season? Do you expect it to be five for the Championship along with Liverpool and Manchester City? What do you think Thomas Tuchel can get this side to do this season? Uh, oh, I think you can ask the coach what, what he needs to do. Uh, from my point of view, I think you know Chelsea's always been very competitive, and uh, you know if, if the coach needs a few more players, and I think it's a good team. And, uh, you know, even last season, you know, they were competing at the top and hopefully they can go maybe a, a step further this year. Thank you, Professor.